It's Coach Nate, owner at Steel String Training, and today I want to talk about how crazy it is that we live in a world where if you choose to not eat processed foods or you hardly eat processed foods at all, that people think you're crazy, you're off your rocker, you're doing some impossible extreme thing. Now before we get into this, this is not me saying, oh, if you eat processed foods, you're not going to get results. Anybody that tells you that if you don't cut out processed foods 100% completely, you'll never get leaner, stronger, healthier, it's not true, okay? Now, I'm also not arguing that it is ideal. Please understand, all right? I think, yes, we should avoid processed foods completely, if at all possible, but at the end of the day, you've got to do the best you can with what you have. Pretty much all of us in today's world consume some some more than others, but pretty much all of us consume some processed foods. That's okay. Um, not saying it's ideal, but it's okay. You can still get great results. But for some reason, this is what I want to address today. People think it is absolutely nuts if you largely avoid processed foods. If you primarily eat single ingredient foods. Guys, every time my wife goes to Costco, look, we get meat, vegetables, fruit, rice, um, you know, some dairy products, like very basic. And look, we got some tortilla chips in there. Okay, some tortilla chips and salsa today. But other than that, single ingredient foods. We got a basket full, we got five kids, and we eat a lot, okay? We train, we're building muscle, we're building strength. We gotta eat to recover and to be healthy. And yet people look at her like she's nuts that she's got a basket full of what? Of real food. And then we talk about it and it's like, she's like, what do these people eat? Like, why is this weird? Why is this weird that we've got beef and chicken and eggs and Greek yogurt and, and avocados and, and vegetables and fruits and rice? Why is that strange? It's strange to me that you think that's strange, but I think this is, this is the world we live in today, that people think it is weird when you primarily eat single ingredient foods. We are so used to, as a society, eating processed foods that when we eat I would argue what's normal, like our diet is very normal, very simple, very basic. When we eat normal, that's weird, that's extreme. And that's crazy, y'all, just because something is, I think we see a lot of this today, just because, and, and across all many domains, just because something is common doesn't mean we should accept it as normal or the way things should be. All right, and this is one of those things. I'm not judging people for eating processed foods. We got some freaking tortilla chips this time, okay? Like, I eat ice cream often. That's definitely processed, and I'm still eating that, baby. All right, so look, I'm not, I'm not making judgments against people that consume processed foods, but it's just like, we need to check. Look, and if this is you, think about it, all right? I'm not casting a judgment, but I'm like, think about it, because this is infected the way that you think about your own diet, your own eating. Why is it weird when you see people who just primarily eat real foods? Single ingredient, non-processed foods. Why is that strange? Maybe it's a small factor. It's not the whole picture, but maybe that's a small factor. Maybe that's a small piece of the pie as to why people are fatter, sicker, weaker, more out of shape today than they've ever been. Maybe it's because in part, a little piece, I think there's a lot going on there beyond just food, but Maybe it's because we think eating real food is weird. Now I get it can be, it's tough to cook when you live busy lives. So again, I'm not judging people who are consuming processed foods. Pretty much everybody does to some degrees. And in many ways, they, make life, they do make life more convenient for better or for worse. So there are some pros there, there are some benefits. But it is crazy to me that we live in a world where eating mostly real food is weird. I vote, I say, that we make that the norm. Make it the norm to eat primarily real food. And yes, if you're busy, do the best you can with what you have. It's one of the things we say all the time, all right? Um, I get you're not always gonna go to the farmer's market to get your lunch, that's okay, all right? You may not live next door to a farmer to go get fresh food every day, that's okay. Do the best you can with what you have, all right? Um, and I'm not judging you if you consume processed foods, but it's crazy to me. We need to make it crazy that this is crazy. It's crazy to me that we live in a world where people think it's weird when you primarily eat real food. If you're one of those people, no judgment. I love you. Think about it though. Maybe that's why you're not where you want to be because you think that's weird. And maybe instead you should make that your normal to eat mostly real foods.